students uh, in previous videos we are completed abnormal colligative property uh, what is the abnormal colligative property how what is what is the meaning of molecular dissociation uh, after molecular dissociation colligative property increases after molecular association colligative property decreases we compare with the uh, normal colligative property as all you know very well what is the relation between vent of factor and degree of dissociation because this concept also uh, we are discussed in the previous videos now today i am going to discussing with you some problem related with this vent of factor you keep in your mind this is the formula alpha is equal to that is degree of dissociation is equal to i minus 1 divided by n dash minus 1 or i is equal to m theoretical divided by m observed or m theoretical minus m observed divided by m observed n dash minus 1 so these are the very interesting concept related with this abnormal colligative property my dear friends now i'm going to discussing with you the next time very important part of this topic that next time very important part of this topic that one is called so, so some problem related with the abnormal colligative property point two molal aqueous solution kcl freezes at c point two molar aqueous solution of kcl problem number one listen point two molal Point two molal aqueous solution of KCl. Point two molal aqueous solution of KCl. Freezes at. Listen very carefully. Freezes. Freezes at. They are given the temperature. Freezes at uh, minus minus zero point six eight minus zero point six eight zero degree Celsius. Calculate vent of factor and observed osmotic pressure. Calculate, listen very carefully. Calculate, calculate vent of factor. See to this. This is a very important things. Uh, calculate the vent of factor and calculate the vent of factor. And uh, another important things vent of factor and what uh, os uh, observed osmotic pressure of solution at zero degree. Vent of factor and observed. Osmotic pressure, os observed osmotic pressure at at what zero degree Celsius at zero degree Celsius. Uh, they are given Kf. They are given the Kf. Kf is equal to 1.886 Kelvin kilogram per mole. They are given these are the value 1.86 Kelvin kilogram per mole. Now, dear student. Uh, what they are given you know very well that is delta tf they are given minus 0 0.680 means what delta tf become the phi f delta tf is equal to uh, 0 0.680 this is a value of delta tf they are given the concentration c is equal to 0 0.2 molar obviously c is equal to 0 0.2 and volume they are given 1 kilogram therefore volume of solution freezes at 0 0.2 molar means what volume of solution is 1 kilogram or why we people say 1 liter because the water is the solvent therefore no need to discuss so dear friend uh, we calculate first delta tf how to calculate delta tf you know formula this is a delta tf is equal to kf into m you know the, because this concept you are already completed in colligative property concept delta tf is equal to kf into m 0.2 molal solution 1 kilogram therefore value of molality is you know molality is equal to uh, moles of solute divided by uh, weight of solvent moles of solute 0.2 divided by 1 therefore value is 0.2 therefore delta tf is equal to value, value of kf is 1.86 into m is what 0.2 that one is called as 1.86 into 0.2 so by using this we calculate the so see this become 0 0.372 kelvin the value of this become the 0 0.372 kelvin and this delta tf this delta tf is called as the theoretical because they are given the value and this is value of theoretical now observed value they are given to you delta observed value of delta tf they are given 0 0.680 this is a value observed this is this is observed value and this is theoretical value therefore how to calculate the vent of factor therefore i is equal to I is equal to observed observed delta Tf divided by I is equal to observed delta Tf divided by theoretical delta Tf. You know the value of observed delta Tf. Therefore, I is equal to observed delta Tf is 0 0.680 divided by theoretical is 0 0.372. Obviously, I is equal to 0 0.372. Therefore, 
value of i become this is become the 1.83 so 1.83 the value of i so my dear friends therefore if you want to calculate the uh, so these are the very simple phenomenon related to this concept observe see now we are going to calculate the observed osmotic pressure so first you see calculate the theoretical osmotic pressure how we calculate theoretical osmotic pressure pi theoretical is equal to pi theoretical is equal to crt you know this is a formula you know this formula because we already completed this formula in our <coughs> regular uh, normal colligative property that is osmotic pressure they are given to you concentration therefore pi is equal to concentration is 0.2 into r is a uh, solution constant or you know value of r 0.082 liter atmosphere 0.082 liter atmosphere and finally the temperature is 273 so by using this we calculate the pi theoretical therefore the and uh, finally uh, no need to discuss the volume because they are given the volume this become the 4.477 atmosphere so value become 4.477 atmosphere dear friends therefore i is equal to what is the value of i i is equal to pi observed i is equal to pi observed divided by pi theoretical you know this formula i is equal to pi observed divided by pi theoretical now my dear friends you know the value of i what is the value of i i we calculate here by using this formula therefore 1.83 is equal to we just require the pi observed because pi theoretical already we calculate by using this equation 4.477 now my dear friends so what is the value of pi observed therefore pi observed is equal to pi observed is equal to you just multiply i into pi theoretical i into pi theoretical therefore value of i is 1.83 into pi theoretical is 4.477 1.83 into there finally therefore pi observed is equal to what it become 8.198.19 atmosphere so dear friends these are the uh, very simple concept by using this we calculate such things so as per my idea you don't have any problem related to this phenomenon then 0.2 molar aqueous solution of kcl freezer set minus 0.680 calculate the vent of factor and osmotic observed osmotic pressure at 0 degree so this is a very simple way by using this we calculate all the problem you see your notebook you see your uh, state board book ncert book all their problem they are given you calculate by using such relation and all these things become the very 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 simple so dear friends now i am moving towards the very short and last point of this topic that one is called like the solubility uh, dear students no no need to discuss this concept because this is a very theoretical point uh, you know what is the meaning of solubility the solubility uh, solubility concept uh, is a uh, actually the solubility concept is a very simple concept and that already know how to define the solubility what is the solubility product in your 11th standard the topic is called like the chemical equilibrium in annual standard in chemical or ionic equilibrium you have a concept that one is called as like the solubility or solubility product how to calculate the solubility product as well as solubility now dear friends now today i am going to discussing with you the last and very 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 interesting and very simple part of this topic that last and simple part is solubility of solute in solvent now dear friend this is a theoretical point what is the meaning of solubility of what is the meaning of solubility of solute what is the meaning of solubility of solute in solvent solubility of solubility of solute in what solubility of solute in solvent now today i am going to discussing with you how we discuss the uh, solubility of solute in solvent which are the important aspects related with this phenomenon uh, now my friends suppose for example uh depending upon the solubility of that solute in solvent solution are classified into three classes that we are discussed in the first videos that is saturated solution unsaturated solution super saturated solution uh, what is the meaning of saturated solution the maximum amount of solute present in the solution at given temperature what is meaning of unsaturated solution the uh, uh, less amount of solute present in the solution at given temperature and what is super saturated solution excess of solute present in the solution at given temperature that is the classification uh, saturated uh, super saturated and so on uh, now dear friends now what i what i am saying to you so what is the effect of that solubility on the solution you know saturated solution you know unsaturated you know super saturated now what is the effect of the change in solubility of solid solute in liquid solvent with temperature listen very carefully the first effect i am discussing with you uh, solid solute solid solute 
in in what in liquid solvent then liquid solvent so what is the effect of solubility on what is the effect of temperature on solubility of solid solute in liquid solvent now i am discussing with you the temperature factor now dear friends uh, i will give you some important phenomenon generally simple words why, why, why the simple words we people use as the temperature increases the solubility of solid in the given solution also increases obviously because generally solubility of solid in liquid increases with temperature uh, solubility of solid solute is almost double with rise of temperature by 10 degree celsius if we increase the uh, 10 degree celsius then solubility of solute become the double but what happen here some important things i am given to you suppose for example uh, suppose for example we have a three category solute number 1 n a b r suppose we have a n a c l the solubility of this solute are not much increases with temperature because this is a already strong electrolyte they almost get dissociate completely in their aqueous solution at normal temperature so such solute doesn't have any effect on the solubility but if we consider the second type of solute suppose we have my dear friends suppose we have a k n o 3 uh, suppose we have another that one is called as the n a n o 3 k n o 3 NaNO3 and suppose we have a KBr so these are the sparingly soluble solute these are the what sparing so we so people say so these are not completely soluble but solubility of such solute much increases by increasing the temperature is it okay what i am saying to you the solubility of such solute increases by increase the temperature and some solutes are there suppose for example third case suppose for example Na2SO4 that one is called as the uh, sodium sulfide the solubility of sodium sulfide decreases with increase in temperature this is exception cases whenever we discuss about this phenomenon you keep in your mind some solutes are there the solubility of that solute decreases with increase in temperature it means that if the solute has solute produces highly exothermic reaction after dissolving the so, uh, solvent then at that time the if we increase the temperature because uh, this is the normal point whenever the reaction is highly exothermic then the rate of that reaction decreases with increase in temperature so this is the uh, very simple concept solid solute in liquid solvent uh, dear friends so what is the, this is called as the effect of temperature now what's happen what is the effect of pressure the second important things now i'm discussing with you that second important things is called as the what is the effect of pressure on solubility you know generally solid solute doesn't have any effect of the pressure because solid are incompressible hence change of pressure has no effect on the uh, solubility of solids in liquid because solid are uh, non compressible we cannot compress the solid after increasing the pressure so actually and this effect is only applicable for solubility of gases in liquid listen very carefully dear friends uh, what is the meaning of solubility of gas in liquid you know uh, this solubility of gas in liquid this concept is very important because suppose for example dissolved oxygen we people say do oxygen present in the water molecule or dissolved oxygen in water molecule is very important for the aquatic, aquatic animals because aquatic animal survive due to oxygen and so what is the effect of such gases in the uh, solubility dear friends actually we people say that according to charles law listen very carefully these are the uh, very important and very interesting concept listen according to charles law the volume of given mass of gas increases with increase of temperature obviously na listen very carefully now first time discussing with you effect of pressure but if effect of pressure on solid that one is over now we are moving towards the next point that is called as the gas in liquid so actually what happened solid so solid solute in liquid solvent so solubility increases with temperature and pressure doesn't have effect on this but whenever we consider gas in liquid and if we say the temperature dear friends the solubility of gas in liquid decreases with increase in temperature why Uh, solubility of gas in liquid decreases with increase in temperature because as temperature increases the expansion of gas takes place expansion of gas takes place it means this is the very simple phenomenon related to this concept so according to my dear friends the solid the, the given mass of gas increases with increase of temperature therefore volume of given mass of gas dissolved gas in solution also increases with increase of temperature so that it become impossible for the solvent in solution to accumulate gaseous solute in it and gas bubbles out obviously na uh, whenever the temperature increases then gas bubbles out so this is a very simple concept whenever we discussing about the uh, solubility of whenever we discussing about the solubility of what uh, gas in liquid 
now dear friend this is called as the effect of temperature because solubility of gas in liquid decreases with in, decrease in sorry with increase in temperature okay gas in liquid decreases with what with what increase of with increase of okay temperature okay now dear friends now i am going to discussing with you what is the effect of pressure on solubility of gases what is the effect of pressure now friends whenever we discussing about the effect of pressure the solubility of gas is greatly influenced by the external pressure it increases with increase of pressure and henry's law put in front of us there according to henry's law solubility is directly proportional to the pressure it means as pressure increases uh, solubility also increases so dear friend therefore we people say that s is equal to k into p keep in your mind they may might may be asked you the question on this problem what is s means solubility p means pressure and k is called as like the henry's constant henry's constant and this law is called as the henry's law so dear friends whenever we discuss about this whenever we discuss about this henry's law so what is henry's law the solubility of that if you if you the law state that solubility of a gas in liquid at constant temperature is proportional to the pressure of the gas above to the solution the solubility of gas in liquid at constant temperature is proportional to the pressure of the gas above the solution that one is called as the henry's law therefore s is directly proportional to p therefore s is equal to kp so might may be happen my dear friends on the basis of they ask you the question therefore p is the pressure pressure is must be one atmosphere and then s if pressure is one atmosphere then s is equal to k that is solubility remains constant now dear friends i will give you some problem related with the henry's law what type of problem they ask you in the examination a uh, very simple problem they ask you in examination you don't worry suppose what is the concentration of dissolved oxygen at 25 degree celsius see the problem is like this uh, what is the uh, what is the uh, concentration of do do means for dissolved oxygen at 25 degree celsius dissolved oxygen at 25 degree celsius and one atmospheric pressure 25 degree celsius and at one atmospheric what 25 degree celsius and at one atmospheric pressure if partial pressure of oxygen is 0.22 atmosphere if what if partial pressure of oxygen if partial pressure of if partial pressure of oxygen is partial pressure of oxygen is 0.22 atmosphere partial pressure of oxygen is 0.2 atmosphere the henry's law constant for oxygen is the the henry's law constant for oxygen is the henry's law constant they are given the henry's law constant value of k they are given 1.3 into 1.3 into 10 to the 3 mole per dm cube per atmosphere mole per dm cube per what mole per dm cube per atmosphere according to henry's law s is equal to kp dear friends according to henry's law what s is equal to kp therefore value of k they are given therefore k is equal to 1.3 into 10 raise to 3 mole per dm cube mole per dm cube per atmosphere this is a, a value of k they are given in the henry's constant now dear friends okay so this is the uh, very simple things then value of p they are given the pressure is equal to 0.22 atmosphere very simple therefore solubility is equal to k into p therefore value of k is 1.3 into 10 raise to 3 into 0.22 obviously so dear friends you multiply this the value become 2.86 2.86 into into uh, 10 raise to 4 mole per dm cube into 10 raise to 4 mole per dm cube now dear friends so these are the very simple and very interesting concept related to this topic i hope as per my idea you don't have any problem related to this phenomenon you don't have any problem related to this concept so these are the uh, very simple terms related to the solution and colligative property my dear friends now i am moving towards the problem based on some some unsolved problem which is present in your book so you try to solve all that problem till now we are completed all part of this topic all part of this topic it means the topic started from the classification of solution or introduction of solution you know Uh, what is the introduction of solution you know what is the classification of solution and you know the concentration term which we used in the solution 
इन कंसंट्रेशन टर्म वी आर कंप्लीटेड वी आर कंप्लीटेड परसेंट बाय वेट और मास परसेंट परसेंट बाय वॉल्यूम देन फाइनली मोलियारिटी मोलियालिटी नॉर्मेलिटी मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑल दिस कंसंट्रेशन टर्म्स वी आर कंप्लीटेड इन दिस टॉपिक सो यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व द मोर एंड मोर न्यूमरिकल्स ऑन दिस कंसंट्रेशन टर्म्स बिकॉज माइट मे बी हैपन इन एग्जामिनेशन दे आस्क यू न्यूमरिकल्स द बेस्ट ऑन दिस कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टर्म जनरली दिस टॉपिक्स हाउ सम न्यूमरिकल्स देन आफ्टर दैट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टर्म वी आर स्टार्टेड द कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी यू नो वेरी वेल वट इज द कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी डिपेंड्स ऑन नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल एंड फोर कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी प्रेजेंट इन यूर सिलेबस इन दैट द फर्स्ट कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी इज कॉल्ड लाइ द लोअरिंग ऑफ हेपर प्रेशर द सेकंड कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी इज कॉल्ड लाइ द इलिवेशन इन बॉइलिंग पॉइंट द थर्ड कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी इज कॉल्ड लाइ द डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट एंड फोर्थ कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी इज कॉल्ड लाइज द ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर so dear friends what is the lowering of paper pressure what is the elevation in boiling point what is the depression in freezing point and what is the osmotic pressure all these properties we are discussed before this later on after the colligative property we are started what is the meaning of abnormal colligative properties as all you know very well the abnormal colligative property are arises due to molecular dissociation or molecular association whenever the solute is electrolyte then that show only abnormal colligative property therefore according to wentoff factor i is equal to observed colligative property divided by theoretical colligative property so observed colligative property they are given in the numericals and theoretical colligative property we calculate by using previous formulas that is elive delta tf delta tb etc etc now my dear friends therefore for molecular dissociation value of i is more if for example your solute is nacl then value of i is 2 for if in place of nacl if it is alcl3 value of i is 4 if it is mgcl2 value of i is 2 and so on because that's what solute undergo molecular dissociation and if it is acetic acid is considered and if acetic acid is non polar solvent then value of i is 0.5 because acetic acid undergo molecular association in in non polar solvent so the abnormal colligative properties arises due to the molecular dissociation and association that concept you know very well now dear friends after the wentoff factor we are discussed what is the relation between wentoff factor and degree of dissociation then alpha what is the formula of alpha you know very well how to calculate the degree of dissociation and finally we are completed this topic with the solubility you know what is the meaning of solubility and what how what is the effect of solid solute what is effect of temperature on solid in liquid what is the effect of pressure on solid in liquid pressure doesn't have any effect on solid solution and finally we are completed <coughs> what is the effect of pressure on gas in liquid because as pressure increases solubility of gas in liquid also increases and this concept given to us by the henry's law so what henry says that the solubility of gas in liquid at given temperature is directly proportional to the pressure therefore s is directly proportional to p s is equal to kp and k is called as the henry's constant so my dear friends so these are the very important concept related to this topic so you try to solve the problem and if you have any difficulty you feel free to call me related with this you try to solve or unsolved numerical unsolved numerical is also very important might may be happen they ask you in examination and if you have any difficulty while solving the numericals you see all the formulas you write down all the formula in in one notebook you write down all the formula you put in your rooms that formula is very important once if you know the formula that is very simple to solve all this problem so today i stop here and thank you very much if you have any difficulty you feel free to call me thank you